Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark on Aberration. Today we are going to be working on some more building. Of course, like last week I think it was, we built up this area here where we kind of just been building our base. Uh, we have our whole workshop area, we have a forge, we have all the good stuff. But I need to be expanding out here a little bit and one thing I want to do here today is we're going to focus on a... It's not a flyer platform, a glider platform, does that make a whole lot of sense? Yeah, anyway, it's going to be an area to store our drakes, and that's going to be at these platforms along the cliff in front of me here, just above our normal spot. So I want to keep the drakes pretty close by because I'm going to be using those quite a lot in this series. And um, obviously, you know, right up here is like a perfect area, it really is. So that's going to be it, and also we have access to be able to just like jump over here and get out and stuff. It's great, it honestly is. Currently we have our drakes just sitting over here, we have that 180 that we hatched, then we have Nathan Drake which is our main one. We have this 160 that I hatched before, but I'm probably not even going to keep this. I don't really need it. And then we have Cheese's 160 that he just left here, so <laughs> I don't know what he's doing with that, but I gotta ask him about that at some point. Anyway, yeah, we're going to focus on here today. Um, we have all the stuff to make a large platform, which, or not platform, large elevator, which I'm really excited about. Let me just show you. So right here, these uh, ceilings are actually going to be the floor in here, which is going to be really great. And it's going to be pretty much in line with the below platform there, so we can get this elevator up and have that in line as well. So, yeah, it's 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 a little bit different. I thought that everything would kind of be out of line slightly and everything, but I think for this platform in particular, we need it to kind of be in line with the below one. It really just, it just needs to be, to be honest. So, yeah, um, let's hop down here. Oh, hey, Axeman's killing Megalosaurus. Cool. All right. Let's go over here, and this is where I want to place the elevator. So, as you can see right here, we have, this is actually a ceiling, and then a, a stone wall going down, and then a ceiling below, and then a stone wall on the inside. So we can actually place, well, we should be able to, we can place, oh, we got it there for a second. There we go. Nice. We got our elevator track in. Now let me see, does this place straight onto that? Oh, it does. Awesome. So this is where our elevator is going to be, and I know that kind of blocks out the zip line a little bit, but we're not really going to be using that too much eventually here. Uh, we're just going to be using the elevator instead. So from here, what we're going to be doing is we can just come up with our elevator track, and we're going to bring it directly up to there. I placed a bunch of these walls here and then those ceilings up there to kind of get everything in line. Let's try to place these correctly. Can I move up? Oh, I can. Nice. It's gaining power from somewhere, probably one of those little uh, outputs I have over there. Just keep going up. Oh wait, no, it doesn't continue. Damn it. All right. Let's go back up. So this is pretty handy. I don't know how I'm going to get all these elevator tracks right down to the ground, though. That's going to be a really difficult task, and it's also going to be super expensive because it's a long way down. It really is. Let's head up here. So this is going to be the final height, I think. Yeah, right here is going to be the height. Okay, cool. So, let me see. I'm going to need ceilings here for sure. We're going to just like fill this out here first. And then we got to figure out what else we're going to put in in terms of ceilings. Do I want to go around it as well? Probably. I don't know actually if I want to do that or not. I don't know if I want it to just like hang off the edge or actually have like a proper little box around it. Like, you know, if I was to put ceilings along there. Not exactly sure yet. Uh, let's grab this. I gotta be really careful. Yeah, I just grabbed the freaking. <laughs> I just grabbed the the elevator by accident somehow. The S plus guns. You gotta be really careful with them sometimes. Seriously. Let's point towards this so I don't pick up something else. All right, cool. Um, so can I place this down now? I can. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, well, yeah, that's our elevator. Pretty cool. And that's gonna lead right down to the ground there. It's just a matter of getting all that done. And then over here, of course, we're going to be filling all this out. So I'll be coming right back to the wall here with the ceilings. I have more on my Ravager. I want to bring him up now in a second once we actually bring down this elevator. Let's actually bring this down right now and bring him up. All right. We can also get rid of all these walls here as well in a couple minutes. I'll do that in a second. But uh, yeah, we're going to like fill all this out up here. Try to figure out exactly how much room we're going to need for these uh, drakes. And then we got to focus on actually bringing this whole elevator right down to the ground. It's going to be pretty difficult. Like, you don't have flyers on here, but of course we do have the uh, the climbing picks. Can I climb on elevators? I can't. Can I do this? I mean, like, we could do it like this. 
Can I get the snap point? Is that it there? I don't know. Is that actually it? Yeah, that must be it, right? Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let me see if I can get back up there. I just want to see if I got that right. Uh, let's hop off to here. Now I want to go down. Oh, what the hell just happened? I just... I bought a zip line somewhere. <laughs> I don't know which one. <laughs> Alright, come on. Back down to me, buddy. Go all the way down. I just want to make sure that it is actually connected properly. Oh, crap. We got a uh, earthquake now as well. Lucky I wasn't climbing there. Nice. So it is connected properly. So I just got to head down by... I guess I can probably climb on these, right? I can, like, climb down or something and, and use these to... To place them that's gonna be really difficult though <laughs> oh we had to do that with the wooden elevators and that was no easy task trust me I'm probably gonna need to just swap this out for now uh, but we gotta wait for this earthquake to pass and also I don't have enough on me but I do have some more in here so let's grab those for now and uh, yeah we're just gonna wait for this to pass and I'll probably bring my ravager up there and try to fill out some of that as well and uh, yeah, then we'll, then we'll place this guy down. Also, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. Really just help me out. Do appreciate it. A lot of great support, honestly. It's fantastic. You guys are loving Aberration. I am, too. What the hell's happening? No, I don't want to. Why am I in that menu? No, stop. All right. <laughs> I got to bring this dude up. We'll see you in a couple minutes. So this is pretty difficult. Oh, crap. I need a drink. <laughs> This is pretty difficult. Oh, I gotta climb up one. There we go. Can I get another one? Damn it. There we go. We got two that time. This is like extremely difficult. <laughs> I don't want to like accidentally clip into another one because then I'll just waste a full track and that will just suck because these things are they're not cheap. They really aren't. They cost a decent amount of polymer and electronics. So I don't really want to and a semantic paste, so I don't really want to be wasting those materials. But I think I might have enough to get all the way down to the ground here. I'm just hoping that I don't pass out before we get there. <laughs> this is probably like the craziest way of building. <laughs> I was like building down. No way, actually. No way. We don't have enough to get all the way down there. For sure. We have 11 left. No. We're going to like definitely run short. We're going to need like another 10 probably. Where did that even place? Not even sure. Alright. Uh, what the hell? Why is it on slot 5? That was rude. Okay. Uh, oh, we're gonna pass out for sure. Look at this. We're totally gonna pass out. Ugh. No, I just pooped. Alright, let's uh, hop down and uh, get it down into this water. Ugh. Take a quick drink. Oh man, that's a lot more. No way. Why did I think we were gonna make it? Look at that. There's so many more. What am I even? K mode is like underneath the ground. That's so confusing. Um. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a lot more than I thought. Crap. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to head over to the lake probably on my crab and collect up some more. Actually, no. I'm gonna go on my other dude. It's gonna be much quicker on my rock drake. Gotta collect up some more freaking um, organic polymer. I do have a decent amount of electronics left and a, and a huge amount of uh, cementing paste, of course, as well, but um, it's not enough to be able to take care of all this in terms of polymer. I don't want to waste all that cementing paste. Can I make this elevator go? All right, that was like the only thing I could do there because my zip line is obstructed with this elevator in the way. Can I get around the corner here? There we go. Let's climb up. This is like so strange. I guarantee a lot of people really like these climbing picks for building though. Like I do have to say, I can see their uses for sure. Um, but if you had a if you had a tape jar, it would probably be a lot better. <laughs> All right, we gotta also take out these uh, thatch walls as well. So yeah, I gotta go over to that lake and start grinding up some of that uh, organic polymer for sure. And uh, then we'll get working on some more stuff here. Alright. Oh, hey, we got an eel. Hey, buddy. This crab must be a high level, actually. Don't be a 150. That's ah, a 100. Alright, cool. 
So yeah, we're just, oh god. Oh no, what the, stop. What's shocking me? Oh, there you are, buddy. Stupid little eel. Stop palpatining me, I don't like that. All right, let's get out of there. What the hell is happening here? There's like a bunch of snakes and stuff. What the hell? They're all like attacking that Anki? What the hell's happening? Leave this Anki alone. I'm gonna kill him. Anki's dead. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we're just pretty much just farming up all of this organic polymer. Super easy to get at this lake, seriously. So many crabs nearby. We've already got a bunch. But uh, probably gonna go back with enough to fill up my fridge as well. I'm not sure if you could do it in normal arc. I think you can, but in S plus anyway, you can stick organic polymer into the fridge, which is amazing. It really is. So it, it basically means that it, I can I can store a huge amount of that in the fridge and just kind of keep that for whenever I need it. So probably just gonna fill up the whole fridge. That was a 190 rock drake. Holy crap! I thought it was high level. So yeah, we're just gonna do this for a little while, and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, so we've done a lot more work here. I've gotten a little platform down there just where this thing lands down to, and uh, I'm kind of bringing all these creatures up to safety. I still have to make a saddle for that frog. I gotta do that at some stage. Also, a lot of you have been saying that those little charge bugs in the background there, you can actually get cementing paste when you kill those with the frog, and if that's true, which I assume it is, holy crap, that's really good, because those things are just all over the map. Seriously, thank you for that suggestion. Uh, what do we even want to level on this, dude? Hmm. I don't even know. Probably some weight, I'd say, actually. It needs a lot of weight. Look at that. It's terrible. Okay, there we go. Cool. So we're almost at the top here, or at least up to the main workshop area. I think at some stage what we'll do is we'll make, like, a platform that's probably, like, halfway down or something that is going to act as, like, a dino storage pen type thing. I don't think we want to actually have too many creatures sitting on the ground, specifically. Oh, let's uh, turn the thing off here. Is it stopping? No? There we go. Now we're going down. Alright, I just want to stop off here because I want to show you guys something from S Plus that we're going to be using. Oh, crap. I can't dismount. Damn it. I, s I hate this stupid bug. When you're, like, mounted, you can't dismount on these things for some reason. Like, and now I can't even freaking... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought we were just going to be stuck. All right, sweet. So let me show you. Uh, right here, what we have is the S plus elevator call button. And what th this is amazing. What this does is pretty much like you can place this wherever and you just hit it and it will come to you. But it's not just going to come to you, the elevator. It's going to like, it seems like it just goes exactly where your feet are. So like at the ex exact same height as my feet are, it's going to come to that exact spot, which is kind of insane. I mean... I thought that it would like end up stopping at the same height as this thing is placed, but it stops like right down below here, which is really cool. Let me get this frog on follow. Please don't fall off. You. Seriously? God damn. All right. <laughs> what did I say? You had one job, stupid frog thing. All right, it's it's fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, we have our Megalosaurus here. Very, very cool. Actually, to be honest, the video is out where we tamed this thing. Or not we tamed this thing, where we bred this thing up. I never actually went and checked the name suggestions. That just popped out. That video came out this morning, so there's probably quite a few on there. I'll take a look at that later. Um, also, I do want to mention, I left these things breeding for days, and holy crap, I, I'm so lucky I turned this thing off. We have so many eggs. This is so stupid. I did not mean to let it go this far, but yeah. We have like... 800 eggs that's okay whatever <laughs> i don't know what we're gonna use those for probably for when we get a reaper king uh embryo thingy inside of me so i could probably just like hatch those eggs and kill the babies for xp for my embryo thing like maybe that's i don't know that could be a thing that we could do maybe to level up our reaper king once we're finally getting one possibly we'll see also mutations as well because there's like 800 of them there's definitely like so many mutations in there Ugh, it's gonna be great all right so i gotta get that frog up here at some stage but yeah that is the elevator very very cool um so let me see i wanted to let's head back up what there we go let's head up here 
because I want to just show you some of the other things that we got going over here. Let me actually hop off of this stage. So to get up here, you pretty much just use the zip line from the main platform. I'll probably make a better way at some other stage, but then I have this little um, kind of ramp right here. Obviously, it looks like stairs, but it's actually an S plus stone ramp, which you can kind of turn into stairs. Let me show you. For anybody who's not familiar with this stuff already, like it's a ramp and now it's stairs. Like it's really, really cool. And then I got some uh, kind of design bits under here. I've got another set of ramps below it actually set as ramps instead of the stairs. And then I've got like stone railings going up there and I think it looks pretty cool. Definitely gives it some uh, nice structure. And then it leads up to this little platform here. Not sure what we're gonna do on this one. We'll probably figure that out eventually. Leave some suggestions down below for different platform ideas, like what we could put on different platforms. Now, I don't want something like absolutely silly where like, oh, put your forge over here and you know, like all the workshop stuff really should stay together. But I'm open to like ideas. Obviously, we're going to be having a, a platform area for greenhouse eventually. Um, then we're going to have like a breeding platform, but like some other ideas like that would very, they, bleh, it would be very much um, appreciated. I just got kind of distracted there for a second. Yeah, anyway, um, then we can come onto this little crystal here, and it leads up to another stairs. It leads up to this top platform, or we could just come up the elevator. But that's an easy way to just get from there if I don't have to go up with creatures or anything. So, yeah, I was also tempted to make a way to get over to this spot here, and I'll probably do that eventually because... Oh, what the hell? Are they fighting? Oh, I thought I saw something fighting there. Um, I'll probably make a way to get over there eventually because, I mean... Like, even just having this, all this stuff here, if something is over there, it's going to fall down into our base anyway. So we got to secure that area at some point with some uh, spike walls or something like that. But, um, yeah, this is like the main spot where we're going to be running our drakes off to uh, kind of take off and go into the area. Uh, I think I'm, like, way too heavy or something. I'm pretty heavy. But, yeah, we can kind of, like, jump over here and then head over to the lake there or wherever. So yeah, I've been using this little kind of uh, area to like pass through quite a lot, so I don't want to really cover it with spikes everywhere. Also, there's like a little platform up here, or a cliff I guess, where I could stick some stuff too. Like there's just so much around this area, it really is great. And I want to kind of spread out the base a little bit too and have it like this massive kind of area where you can get to like different floors through different means, you know, like to get up here I could take the elevator. Or I could go across the zip line, walk up the stairs, walk up this crystal, walk up the stairs, and then I'm up, you know? <laughs> uh, we also got some random zip lines we gotta get rid of as well. I gotta get rid of that one, and then there's some more from down below as well. Um, I'll probably make some sort of permanent zip line from the ground up to the, up to like the, the workshop-y kind of area of our base. Let me, let me show you, because like the current one that we have will kind of get obstructed by this elevator and to be honest I'm not even sure if, we, if we'd be able to get up here at all uh, nowadays so yeah we're gonna have to sort that out at some stage for sure uh, but then yeah we can get rid of this one here for now that's the one that we just looked at up there nice um, and then there's obviously a couple more here I could probably get rid of this one to be honest I don't really need that just get rid of that all right cool so, what do we need to do? Well, let me head back up there, and I'll go up this way because the elevator's already up there. Bam! I love, like, jumping right up onto those crystals. It's great. Well, like, bounced off of all the platforms. Alright, so... Got some more building to do. I thought maybe we'd, like, do the frickin' railings or something here. Uh, I also got some more elevator call buttons. I want to stick one at the very bottom and then one up here. Uh, what else? So I want to stick some railings down, of course. Let me grab some of those. Do that. That's probably enough. Um, so we're probably going to need our elevator call button, like, right here somewhere. So for now, I'll just stick it here, and we'll just do that. That will work for now. So obviously, when that's down below, let's actually bring it right down. You guys can see in a second. Uh, when that's down below there, we could just, if we're up here... We can hit our call button and it's going to come right up to us. I think when it's moving, it doesn't actually come to you, but if it's like stationary, it will come to you. Nice. All right. Uh, so that's that done. We're going to need our railings in here. I don't know what kind of design I want to go with, with the railings up here. Probably just the, probably just similar to what we did down below, actually. 
So we did something like this where every single corner or like edge we'd always stick like a stone one and then in between we'd have wooden ones. So let me see how that looks. Uh, all of the glow sticks I had around the area have gone out as well now. Uh, we'll do that and we'll stick a stone one over here and then some more wooden ones leading into this crystal. Cool. Um, let me see. Let's drop down a couple more of these glow sticks. I'll drop one up here. Another one over here. Yeah, we got like a lot of space up here for our uh, for our rock drakes and everything. So we got our elevator button. Yeah, this is really looking quite well actually. Uh, we had a stone railing there. Just go along with some more of these then. I don't know. That needs to be stone, doesn't it? Kind of, I guess. Uh, actually, you know. Mm, that would either be, yeah, no, that would actually be stone right there. All right, fair enough. We'll just come over here with some of these. And, oh, I need to get in there, not there. Uh, let's pick this up. Sweet. So yeah, this is looking really well, actually. I like this, a lot of space. Um, Let's try to grab some more drakes. Oh, what the hell, let me up. <laughs> that was a, uh, oh. We gotta turn on our dude. Why were you not already turned on? What the hell? Let me see. Let's grab this drake. Um, for now, I think I'll leave that one there and I'll leave Cheese's one here as well. I don't really want to clutter up my new area with uh, just a bunch of drakes everywhere. Plus, I do have another 180 egg that I want to hatch because it could potentially be a Christmas drake and obviously the Christmas event is for some reason still on on our server I don't know how to turn it off and by the way I don't know how to turn it on either I didn't turn on the event and apparently you have to do something special to actually get it I have no clue who did it uh, could have been the guys from G portal um, or it could have been one of the guys from the server here no idea so um yeah sorry if if a lot of people were wondering about how to turn that on and I just I just didn't know <laughs> Uh, we're actually gonna change this one to a stone railing instead. I think that looks a little bit better and I feel like we would probably need some like banisters here Let's do this Now the really cool part about some of the S plus pieces is that you can actually snap these onto the ramps Which oh, I love that so much like, That actually looks really good Nice, all right so we got our whole platform up here. I gotta do the same thing that I did down below where obviously I made it look like there's like a foundation. So you can see that the level below is like one wall down and then a ceiling below as I said earlier. Uh, we're gonna have to do that here too to make it look a little bit better. Where, what way am I looking from right now? I'm like inside of myself. I'm like, I'm, I am my junk right now. What the hell? Look, there's my, what? How is the camera going there? <laughs> That's so strange. Oh. All right. Well, uh, we also got to get some lights up here, too. I want to get, like, as many as we can around here to kind of illuminate the area a little bit and make it obvious that we have this up here, pretty much, you know? Um, also, I do like the purple light, but I feel like the white light's a lot nicer. Um, I do like it, though. The purple's really cool, but I don't know. Down there, it doesn't really look very purple, and I really like that. Although, it does have this purple hue to, like, the sides of it, which looks really cool. So yeah, maybe we can try to get some sort of effect like that on our top platform here. Possibly, we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to do that thing to get the foundation around the side. So that's going to take a bit. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, let me see. I think I have some stuff on my uh, Ravager. I can probably show you how I'm doing this. I think I have walls and uh, ceilings in you, don't I? I do have walls, and I also have ceilings. Perfect. Put these back in here and i gotta get one of these down the bottom to be honest i'll just hang on to that pillar for now uh and i'll put that there just so i don't forget let me get this on here get you on there as well all right so let's start down from this crystal here all right so right along here it's going to be pretty easy to do this so pretty much just come down by one and then I need to only put a second one down once, and then I can do this. And then I can remove this, and then uh, obviously when I get all the other ones around, I can place another one on the inside there, and it will kind of look like it's a foundation, because it's like fully, fully kind of enclosed or whatever. So yeah, we gotta get the rest of these walls around here. It's gonna be pretty finicky around here though, especially with this crystal in the way, there we go. Yeah. 
So right along here, we don't exactly need to do that. Uh, we probably will. Hmm. Yeah, we probably will. Oh, no. No, why? How? <laughs> All right. So let me let me move further over here. I can, I can finish this off in a second. I want to show exactly how I'm... Can I climb? Seriously? I definitely can climb there. I've done that before. There we go. So then pretty much just it's a matter of just doing this for a while. <laughs> really, really awkward, I know. Uh, you can go like this. Then flick forward one. I can obviously place it in that wall in a second. Um, let's just do this. And then we can uh, start working on getting these ones in a little bit. I might have to go back one to get this one in. Oh no, we had it. There we go. Yeah, so this is obviously very finicky. I'm gonna finish this off by myself for obvious reasons. Or else this might be an hour of just like random placing. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. So we got the underside of the platform done here and it looks really good. I really like that. Actually, just check it out from down here to be honest. Let's, uh, let's have a look. So yeah, you can see it looks really, really good. Honestly, I think that it definitely adds something to it. It takes away from like the the, the flatness of the ceilings, and uh, gives them a nice shape and a contour. Man, that's awesome. All right, let's head up here because we got some more work to do. We got some lights to place down, some other bits as well, and okay. So I got some pillars down here too, and I think we're gonna put a light over here to begin with, so like right there. Now that is not powered, but what I have done is I've brought some more wires up here so we can get some more power up here. Because obviously it's just way, way out of range for the uh, for the bits that we have down at the bottom. So I'm going to stick one here. That should power that, right? Nice. Sweet. Okay, and we're going to hide all this in a couple minutes because um, we can actually we can use the, the option here to hide all the wires and then obviously the little boxes as well. Uh, where else do I want a light? Maybe like right here? Uh, and then we'll get one on like either side. Also, I moved the button for the elevator to there. I think it looks a lot nicer there. Let's put this here-ish. And then we'll get one over in the corner here. And we'll get another one over here. That should be enough, I think. Possibly. We'll have to take a look at it and just see how they, how they look when they're all like lit up and whatnot. So... Let me see, we gotta get some of these horizontal ones. Are we gonna have enough to even be able to stretch out this whole platform? Probably not actually, holy crap. All right, uh, let's do this. We'll go up here. And then we'll go by another one and then we'll go like this and head in this direction. Might just need one or two more of these things, so. Oh, damn it, <laughs> I thought I'd made enough. <laughs> Oh, it's never enough. It really isn't. All right. Um, so you're not powered, so we need... Maybe if I stick one here. Is that going to power these two? Nice. It does. Let's turn these guys on. And we're going to stick another one over here. That's going to get that. Is that not going to... Oh, it does get this one. The previous one does. And we got to turn on this light now as well. Now, this looks pretty lit up, actually. Obviously, we just got to get that light over there, but it looks pretty good. I do kind of feel like we could do with some more lights at the back there, though. Hmm. And also, I know quite a lot of people will probably be recommending some sort of roof for this area. I honestly don't think that's a good idea because, I don't know, the, the way that the drakes come down and everything, trying to like squeeze through a gap to get them in onto this platform would be kind of a bit of a mistake and a, a bit too much effort, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to leave it completely flat and open to the roof right here, the, or the roof of the cave or whatever. So, um, yeah, I guess I can finish the rest of the wiring off in a couple minutes. Obviously, this is way too far out of range. So, um, hmm, where are, should we stick some more lights back here? Maybe we could probably just pop a couple in the corner. We got, like, this spot here. I could just put one. <laughs> it's, like, into, to, into, like, the rock on the side, but it's okay. Probably get another one back here if we can get around the tail. Place one right here, possibly. Yeah, we're gonna need some more wires for sure. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah, guys, that's probably gonna be it for today. Uh, we got our amazing platform. We got our amazing elevator. It's just a lot more work done to the base, and uh, there's a lot more that we need to still do. 
drop some suggestions down below for some other platform ideas. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about all this. I think that the elevator is fantastic, and uh, I'm really happy that we got that done here today. A couple more things I need to do down the bottom as well. I still need to get that frog up here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.